So we've made it to week seven in the course. So let's quickly remind ourselves of what we've been talking about in the previous week or two, as well as where we're going to go in the course this week. So in the last week, or the last week or two, I guess, we've been talking about logistic regression in the model. We looked at getting model output and working with it, how we can calculate odds ratios, estimate probabilities, things like those. And we looked a little bit at the likelihood ratio test for comparing nested models, as well as conceptually and uh, numerically, the idea of confounding and mediation, where we're starting to work towards building a model to try and estimate the effect that smoking has on the risk of low birth weight. Now what we're going to do in this week is um, pick up where we left off, we might recap these a little bit to start, and then we're going to go into effect modification and how can we calculate the odds ratios, the group specific odds ratios, when there is effect modification. And so if we allow the effect that smoking has on low birth weight to change depending on some other variable, how can we include that in the model, and once it's in there, what does that mean for the odds ratios, and how can we calculate the group specific odds ratios. Then we'll talk a little bit about the assumptions that are made when fitting a logistic regression model. So what are the model assumptions? The most important one being linearity, that the relationship between the log odds and the numeric x variables is linear. We'll talk about how we can check linearity, some plots we can make to examine that, as well as what some of the solutions are if the relationship is not linear. And the quick spoiler alert is that the solutions we have are the exact same as they were for linear regression. Stick around guys, there's more to see and please stay safe.